Hi, this is John Leslie. Favreau is excellent for breaking large things down into smaller things with the ability to track the flow of value and work at multiple levels. Let me show you one way to do this by breaking a card down to our board template. I'll be showing you three examples. A marketing team breaking down a card representing a large campaign into a linked work board with individual campaign deliverables. A product development team breaking down large product epics into a user storyboard. Also for the product development team, further breaking down user stories into a linked task board. Finally, I'll show you how automations can be used to automatically roll up progress from tasks to stories to epics for that same development team. Let's begin with a marketing example. Say I'm a marketing manager and I want to be able to track all of my campaigns, my large campaigns at a very high level. As you can see here on this big marketing campaigns board, we have a couple of launch campaigns going through a high level flow. Maybe for example, once launch new onboarding for users, this particular campaign reaches the in progress phase. You could click this card, open it up, click the card menu, select breakdown to board and break this campaign, this card representing this campaign, down into a Kanban board, a sheet, a timeline, a card list, or a form, starting fresh. Or I could use an existing template, such as this campaign work board, and break that card down to an existing flow, and maybe even existing deliverables like you see here. So now this marketing manager is able to track on multiple levels, both at the campaign level and also on the deliverable level being executed by the team. Now let's take a look at how the same capability can be used for product development. So say we're tracking epics up here on this big development epics board going through their high level flow. And we have this mobile app version 2.0 gets pulled to end progress and we can break this down. In this case, we're going to break this epic down to a user storyboard. So now that epic is broken down and linked to the board, as you can see here, both on the board and also on the card. linked down to its own user storyboard. Now I have a couple of example user stories here on this board that are going to go through their flow like this all the way through to ready for release. Now the team and maybe the product manager are able to track both on the user story level here on this board and also at the epic level up here on this board. Now say when one of these user stories makes it to the execution phase, doing or in development, this particular user story could be further broken down. Click the card, click the card menu, break down to board to maybe its own task board like so. Maybe full of a couple of example tasks to get the team started. So now we've linked from a task level up to the user story level and from the user story level up to the epic level by breaking down to board templates. Now product managers, program managers, the team members themselves can all track at multiple levels, the epic level, the user story level, and even the task level. And finally, suppose that we want progress at the lower levels to automatically affect progress at the higher levels. So for example, again, with this product development team, we want to be able to have this product epic new onboarding for users when it's completed automatically move to quality review. So in order for that to happen, we've broken that down again to its own user storyboard with those user stories flowing through all the way to ready for release. And those user stories have been broken down, as you can see here for story one, down into their own task boards. So we have story one at doing here on the user story board, and we have that overall new onboarding for users 
in progress up here on the Epic board. So as all of these tasks are completed for that final user story to be completed and ready for release, the user story, as you can see there, automatically moved to ready for release. Since all of the user stories for this particular epic are now ready for release via automations, this card, new onboarding for users, automatically moved to ready for quality review. The automations to make this happen are very straightforward. So here on the task board, if I look at automations, you can see it's a single automation saying when all cards are in status done, move the parent card, in this case, the user story, on that user story board from any status to ready for release. And on the user story board, there's another simple automation saying when all cards are in status ready for release, move the parent card up on that Epic board to quality review. And it's that simple. So there you have it. Three examples of how you can use the ability to break a card down to its own board or even to its own board template in Favreau. Thanks and good luck with the platform.